Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. This is Bebenberg and this is episode number four of our playthrough. And in the last one, my word, did we do a lot in episode three. We've got more houses, we've got farms, we've got mining, we've started up trade. We've even um, bought ourselves our first development point here by getting some beekeeping uh, policies. Wild animals rich deposits breed twice as fast. And we can't do any of that at the moment, whatever. Um... So yeah, everything is is going well. We've only got I don't know how many more families is it? We've got family there. So we've got three more families kind of yet to move in, but we are about to head into the winter months. So there is a lot of uh of things yet to happen. I am fairly certain by the way as well. We've already know there's a bug there with the homelessness thing where it just sort of sits there forever. I'm st I'm fairly certain as well that we have a lot of firewood left. Now it says here that we only have one month worth of, 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 of fuel. I'm not convinced. All of these houses, if I look at the fireplace stool. There's another bandit came sighted. If I, if I, how do I, how do I, oh, you click on the market, don't you? Fuel, look, 100%. Everybody has fuel, apparently. Right? So everyone's got their one month of fuel. And we've got 27 pieces of firewood left. Now, in the winter, obviously, the usage doubles. So we've got currently 11 houses for three months. So that's 33. Uh, hang on a second. Let me do <laughs> Let me do my maths. So we've got, we've got 11 families. That's 22 firewood per month we've got to get through. Okay, maybe it is actually broken. Okay, um, that's actually telling the truth. I'm, uh, I'm full of shit. <laughs> it's actually correct. Because in winter it's doubled, so whereas we would normally just need 11 firewood, we actually need 24 per month. So yes, we uh, we do need to get that going quickly. So we have two food stalls and another firewood stall there. And we've got some vegetables hitting the market. It looks like they are finally uh, finally cutting up their vegetables. Yeah, this uh, woodcutter's lodge needs to uh, needs to crank up the uh, the speed with which they're making their their firewood. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. So the stonecutter camp there. I mean, it doesn't look like anybody is actually working on any of the mines yet. Anyone working on this one? Oh yeah, they are working. They're working in this one. Is our mining pit for the iron ore? So whilst we don't have anything to actually use the iron ore at the moment, work area is empty. Jesus Christ, they are absolutely smashing through, aren't they? I need to get another family working here. Start growing trees quickly. At the moment, we don't have any um, production buildings uh, built to, to, to take advantage and utilize the resources that we're getting from the mining pits and the stone carts camps, but we can look to sell them. We can look to sell the stuff, I think. Or can we not? Um, yes, there we go. Iron ore. We can sell the iron ore. It sells for an okay price. It sells for three, three gold per iron ore. That's not bad. So we'll build up a little bit of a uh, of a stash, and then we'll look to start moving some on. And here we go. Look, there he goes to our mine, mining pits. And already we have somebody now working at the uh, stonecutter camp. There is just something mesmerizing about this game where you can just kind of watch people at work. Mm. 
this coupled along with the atmosphere, the music, it's just very, very good, isn't it? Got 17 stone there already. Looking forward to seeing our uh, fields fully grown. So we're still hovering at around 60%. I think maybe the next thing we look to do in here, we've got a lot of hide at the moment, or a decent amount of hide, and we're actually keeping, uh, we're actually trading some of it away. I think we need to look to produce leather. And then from, how do we then make, do we need to, do we need something else to then make clothes from the leather? I think maybe, maybe it's one of the, the plots that they need to, uh, Fletcher's workshop, armorers, tailor, here you go, look. Enables the production of clothes and cloaks and gamsons. Blacksmith, brewer, joiners, cobblers. So I think we need one of those artisan shops. Maybe maybe we look to build a church. Because we, to enable to, in order to level up these, we need a church. Now I don't want to do that too quick because I don't want to run out of workers to work the, uh, the, the other jobs. But I think we do need to think about a church, but we need wooden planks as well. Yet more. Yet more things that we need. Just put that there next to the opposite the woodcutter's lodge. How many uh, vegetables have we got in there? Still need the one veg. I'm intrigued as to why... I don't know whether... Are the families not just not taking uh, enough care and attention of them? I don't know. We've also got eggs now as well. I feel like if we're going to do honey, we need to have the, uh, the, bee, the bees kind of... Uh, out of the way but we are now in december we are in the absolute peak of winter we still only have one month of fuel but i guess if we always just have one month we should be okay well, look it's snowing and now i think we're about to see this, this game's party piece if you keep a very close eye on the ground on the buildings on everything i think we are going to start to see the transformation of this little village. Oh, look, there you go. Look, you can just see... You can just see the snow beginning to settle in certain places. Not my words. In a few minutes, this is going to look like a very, very different place. Travelers without firewood is that we are... Oh, my God. Look at how quickly they are clearing. We may need to get another one of these. Because I think that if, if the game is realistically um depicting the growth of trees it could be a couple of years before these trees grow to their to their full size and at the moment we are absolutely this is the the full industrial revolution at the moment when you can see look, lots of saplings you can see the, that lots of trees have been planted which is which is fantastic, but it's not happening quick enough. The trees are not growing quick enough to keep up with the incredible amounts of demand. Now, we haven't got anyone working in the logging camp because we still have so much timber, but at some point we are going to need to fire that one up again. Maybe let's just get through the winter months. We can turn tone down the woodcutter's lodge and slow down the, uh, the production. Yep, yeah, you can see, look. As the uh, snow begins to settle on the ground. I 
sawmill is getting there. Maybe we didn't we say about getting the uh, the tannery, didn't we? I feel like this is going to be a necessary thing. Where are we going to put the tannery? Should we? Go there, that's fine. Still, I'm still trying to... Uh, we're going to need the malt house as well. We're also going to need the uh, the windmill and also the communal oven next year once the, uh, the wheat is fully grown. So we'll probably look to start building those in the spring so that they're ready in time for the summer harvest. You, go, you can already see look how, how amazingly different this is looking already. Even the trees are changing colour. The, the the entire landscape just changes so dramatically quickly. We aren't foraging, are we? No, we're not. Wild animals is going down. Are we hunting at the moment? We are. That's fine. We, if we, as long as they adhere to that ten limit, which I think they are, because they've been hunting for a little while, I think we're okay. Okay, there's your, there's your saw pit. I think we're going to drop one away from that and put one in there. We've got a couple of fairly large construction projects on the way. Um, and of course, we are. <laughs> every time a family moves in, so there's just the, these two plots left. It's just two plots left. Every time a family moves in, all of a sudden the food requirements, the fuel requirements, and everything else goes up. Storage is full at the stonecutter camp. Okay, in which case, your uh, your work there is done. How are we doing over here, people? 15 clay. And 18 iron ore. Now, can we trade the stone? We can trade the stone. It is literally... The cheapest thing in the world ever. Yeah, these bandits are going to be a problem. Do we? Uh, should we go and attack them? Should we have a, should we have a winter war? Sorry, I don't think doing it in the winter is a particularly good idea. Because our whole economy is going to stop because it's our peasants that are going to go to war. So our entire economy is going to stop. So production of... Fuel, food, everything is going to die. Although we're not really producing any food at this point, but okay, right. Tannery is finished. And if I'm right in saying, I think the, I mean, I, I think the 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 real life process, maybe it, maybe it came later in time, but the real life process, you have to put them in like these uh, mixes of like quite harsh chemicals like acids and stuff to treat the hides and treat the leather properly before they can be woven into clothes and the whole process in those days could take like something crazy like 18 months as they would go from from water from or from mixture to mixture i presume that they weren't doing it in this these sorts of times but regardless it is um it was really really interesting to read about that when i was uh what generic storage for why what else is full Yeah, it was really interesting to read about all that and about how they used to make the leather and the clothes back in those days. So where are you dro- I say, where are you dropping the, uh... Dropping the planks there? So one timber makes five planks by the look of this, which is quite good. What we don't want to do... Yeah, construction reserve. We want to leave at least... Let's leave 12 timber. Okay, right, we're still in December then. Looking at our winter wonderland. 
fuel for two months now, which is good. So we're we are ahead of the game. Since, since there is nothing to uh, nothing to build at the moment, we can put somebody on the tannery. Well, we've still got one family left over anyway. Right, here they come, people with our hides. Let's have a look and watch what they're doing. So the full looks like they're washing it and treating it or doing something with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did he just say? And that's it, is it? And and that's and that's leather. <laughs> there we go. Easiest process in the world. So these were like, these bandits have stolen iron, clay, and right. We need to we need to fucking take these guys out, don't we? I mean, they are quite close. We should be able to get over there. The trouble is, if we lose any people, we lose families. Oh, there's so much. There's there's so much at risk. Fuck it. We're going fighting, everyone. Gather your weapons. Morale's willingness to fight. If it reaches critical points, the chances become unavailable. Yeah, that makes sense. Fatigue. Uh, soldiers become tired when running. Yes. Effectiveness. This is the attack and defense multiplier. The unit might have a hard time fighting uphill or I'll just struggle while shooting in the rain. Hold tab to inspect the details. Just walk, chaps. Don't wanna, don't, we don't want to uh, completely destroy our energy levels before we've even reached there. But that bandit camp needs taken out because they're pissing me off. This could go very, very badly. Oh, it looks like they're coming to meet us. They're going to come and meet us in the... Uh... They're coming to meet us? It looks like we are, we will be, so you know what, just stand here and wait for them to come to us. There's 16 of them and 20 of us. I don't think they know we're here, you know, because they've just gone into the forest and they've disappeared. There's obviously some kind of like uh, ambush mechanic or something. Here they come. Effectiveness is at 105. Oh, I didn't mean to do that at the last minute. I made a really bad move. I wanted just to just to uh, stand your ground. But we are. They are. They are suffering losses. Push him forward. Push him forward. We've lost a man. Oh, but we are mincing through them now. That's it. Push him forward, lads. Surely there they are. Yeah, I thought so. Good work. We only lost one man as well. Get on that. Superb, lads. Right, let's go and... Uh, I think there should still be a camp to loot here. Right, go and loot, go and loot that camp. A new message. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them, though. 
Um, sorry, it, they could be sent to your people who surely need them, though it is your right to keep it. Sent to the nearest town. Regional worth gain. 132 coins. Right, so now how do we make them stand down? They have to come back here. Good work, men. And now we have a load of money that we can use for uh, upgrading our uh, our buildings and stuff. And I think we should have now. We've got enough planks to start work on a church as well. This was a, this was a successful. Yes, love that. I think we've also gained not only some thing. I think we gained. Did we gain some uh, some firewood and some clay from from that? Uh... Maybe we stole back the resources they stole from us. Because we've now got 59 firewood, enough for four months. Right, are we now in our own... Where's the, where's the, the border, the borders? There we go. Right, disband units. Well done, men. Return, return to your families, return to your homes. And return to your slave labor tasks. Right, there we go. The success. Right, so, while we're here then, we can maybe look to, uh... Spend our money. We've got loads of fucking money. We, might, we must have just got a load more money. That must have been from, that can only have been from the trade. Right, there we go. Lots of those, that's good. And then the next wave of houses that we buy are likely to be the ones that we target to become level two plots. Like this one. So they've got everything they need. They've now got cloves as well. Which appears to be, although only 14% have cloves currently. Is that just because we don't have... We haven't made enough yet, I think is that. And I guess most of our workers, of course, have been uh, off at war. So they will come back. Work will return. Food-wise, we've got loads of berries, loads of veg, so we're good. We're into January now, so we're almost through the winter. And then in the spring, frequent raining, seasonal deposits we go, we can go and start harvesting the berries again in the spring. Right, so with that in mind, we have two unassigned families. It is now time... Kind of like one... I feel like the church should be kind of out of the way. In the sort of vicinity to that deposit over there is kind of irritating. There we go. That is a big construction project. I feel like it needs a little bit of uh, cosmetic decoration here. What are we doing? Are we? Am I? Am I? Oh, it's a race shrubbery. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. Place the two shrines there. I, was, I thought. I thought I remembered seeing a fence that you could, that you could make. For some reason, I had this thing in my head that there was there were fences that you can build, but never mind, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So we've got two families who can get involved with that, that's fine. There's an awful lot of uh, resources that are going to be taking up there. 20 planks, 10 stone and 5 timber need to make their way up there. So that is quite a long-term build, that one. Uh, other than that, I mean, kind of think about what the next, the next plan is. I mean, what can we... 
Can we maybe look to continue trading here? So we've got loads of stone. We've got plenty of planks. We could export planks, couldn't we? And just keep a surplus. I'll say 20. I don't think we're going to need that many planks, though. Let's, we'll keep an excess of 15. We'll export stone as well, but keep 30. Although, although maybe even less than that, to be honest. Maybe we keep 25. The thing is with the uh, with these, like the stone, we're not mining stones, and when that once that goes, uh, then that that will be it. So we're not tra we're not trading a great deal at the moment, are we? Export. We just do. I think we're just. Uh, I think we're I think we're in a in a good spot. We don't need to worry about any of that. So I guess next we need to start thinking about some of these more these things here. So we've got the bloomery, so we can convert the uh, iron ore into slabs, but it does uh, need to be refueled. So all of our construction seems to be. Just sort of over here in this side of the town, which I don't mind. Got clay tiles, got a smithy, and a weaver's workshop. Workers use wool to produce yarn and flax to produce produce linen. I'm assuming that will be something that the level two buildings will need. So is that everybody moved in now? So they haven't moved in yet. But they have. So we have one more family to move in. 14 living spaces, currently 13 families. We need a small village to have a, to have that manor there. Yeah, windmill and communal oven are the next two things that we need to build as well. Build all of that in there, and then we'll probably put just a little through road through there. And then that effectively that little area will be kind of be done and i just wonder whether then we now just, we then start to just explore over here a little bit maybe build up over here we've got some more farms maybe even go this way a little bit or even the other side of the main road so marketplace wise let's take a look so fuel we're, we're all good food variety is pretty good across the board Clothing, not so hot though, but we just need to uh, keep the hides coming in. We need more goat farms, don't we, really? Right, so let's speed things along then, so we kind of want to get this church finished. See all the, all the things being delivered. Right, that's all the planks one more log and then we're good to go to start building there we go building commences of course it's somewhat in the shape of a cross not completely in the shape of a cross but two families working in this makes it go an awful lot stronger there's still some resources that need uh to be brought over so we've got one more uh log that needs to be brought over which is there currently on its way and we have two more bits of stone to grab uh i'm assuming that guy oh, that's the trader so that won't be him doing that so it'll be you and you going to get the stone right so just the last couple of pieces of stone then and then this beautiful church will be finished <laughs> And then, how are we doing everywhere? Let's have a look at that. We're good. A couple of eggs, a vegetable. One veg, one carrot. Plenty of base. We've got loads of firewood, which is great. 
five months worth. We can probably turn tone that down now. Let's tone that down. Um, and I think we've now got. Yeah, we have. We've now got our last family has now moved in. This wooden church nearing completion as the last two stones head in. There's one. The second one should be shortly behind. There you go. And here comes the last one. Right then. So this is going to allow us the opportunity to start upgrading those, those uh, burgage plots into level twos, which is kind of huge. Because then we can start putting things in their uh, back garden, such as the, the Fletcher's workshop, the clothing places, and, you know, loads of different things we can put in their gardens, not just stuff that goes into the general stockpile, like eggs and hides and vegetables and that sort of thing. Now, we're not going to go crazy. I'm probably going to build more houses before I look to do that, because I don't want to lose the workforce. Because once you upgrade to those level twos, I don't think they will work the farms, for example. They won't work in the, re the resource collection buildings such as the logging camps so we have to maintain a good level of uh like you see level one families and level two and level three as and when We're in February now, so we are almost into, uh, I kept saying November was a thingy, but it wasn't, was it? That uh, February was in the winter, but it absolutely was not. And here we go. Our church is complete. We need a family to, to work it and become the priests. Like a child, aren't I? You can upgrade the churches if you want to as well. So yeah, there we go. We have our first wooden church. Everybody is good. And now we do have, in theory anyway, the ability to upgrade our plots to level two. But we need four timber in which to do that. And we don't actually have any timber at the moment. We've used all of our timber, so we are going to have to turn on our logging camp once again and tell them to uh, to start chopping down more trees yet again look at all these saplings around here though we are going to have quite a lot of trees once again once they once they've all finished so they are they're, they're doing a good job there Um, I'm thinking maybe we just get some more houses, you know. Because once again, we've, we've wrapped everything up, but we're still actually pretty close to having not enough to go round. But then, of course, you upgrade one thing to get more things. We've got the, uh, the windmill and the communal oven go that's, uh, that are coming, so we are going to probably need more houses, would you believe? Right, we need to wait for some more timber to uh, be collected then. Do you know what? I think actually, I think we can probably uh, we can probably end the episode there. Again, I think this one's going to be a slightly shorter one compared to the last one. Um, we've still got a good amount done though because we've cleared out that poxy bandit camp that was over there. So that's now non no longer a problem. We have got another one over there, but that's quite the distance away. So hopefully they're not going to be too much of a problem for us for the time being. Um, we are just about to head back into spring. Uh, into the second year, which means that our berries are going to return and our crops will be that much closer to finishing. We've got our preparations going on. We are going to need some um, some more houses, some more workers, though, because once these buildings are up and running, we're going to need the two unassigned families to go into there. But then, of course, once we get to the point... Actually, they won't need to go in there at all at the moment because there's nothing there to use, but we are going to need to go into the farmhouse and put a load of people down 
to sort out the um, the fields so that they can be harvested, plow, uh, plowed, and sown. So there's yeah, there's there's definitely a need for more houses. I feel like maybe we can move the granary. Can we move the granary? We can't move this granary, can we? Outside of building another granary here, I don't think we can. We can't really do anything about that, which is kind of irritating. I'm still trying to work out where the best place to put our new houses is. We certainly can get a couple in here. I think that's. Get a couple in there. That's fine. That clay pit will eventually run out. So that will disappear. I feel like maybe we should move the hunting camp. If we move the hunting camp. Which we, which we are able to. And then we can actually put some houses on here. Yeah, 10 houses there. Right, that's what we'll do. Um, so, yeah, we're going to end the episode there. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you've enjoyed, make sure you join the Discord below. Loads of stuff coming up. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying watching this as well. Uh, once again, let me know in the comments if there are any hints, tips, or tricks you can tell me without ruining the game, of course. Um, do let me know if there's anything glaringly obvious that I'm ignoring that's going to cause me problems. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you all next week.